What is perfectionism? Perfectionism is often defined as the need to be or appear to be perfect or even believe that it's possible to achieve perfection. That's the problem that I have. In here, to me, everything's already perfect. But you know, once it comes to actually doing the whole process, whether it be writing the script, whether it be storyboarding, whether it's during actual production and you're working with your talent, you know, I kind of get the, the feeling that it, you're not, I'm not getting that. I'm not getting what my idea of perfect is. And, and it's, it, it's my downfall, you know? It's a problem for me because it just makes me feel less capable of what I'm already doing, you know? I'll be honest here, whenever I'm, I'm thinking of like, this isn't coming to perfection, I tend to give up, you know? It, it, every time I reach that point of like, actual creating and I'm doing it, and I can't get to that certain point of like, the idea of this video is gonna be perfect if it is not completed this certain way, that's my downfall because every time I reach a point where it's like, no, it's not coming along, I give up and that's a that's a big deal you know because if you're giving up on the idea that you work so hard to do it it kind of just defeats the whole purpose of like creation because in art when you go and look at a mural or a painting of any kind you'll ask yourself what kind of speaks to me you know and for everyone you'll view that mural, that painting, whatever you're watching, you'll view it to a different degree than what your peers are viewing it. And that's kind of what I need to get in my head, you know. Every time I create and what I get on the end product is gonna be interpreted different by everyone that sees it. Um, and although that's like fine to understand, in my head it's still like, you know, I need them to, to look at it as like, wow, this is, this is phenomenal, you know? And that's kind of where I've now realized as I've worked more and more with my creative side and creative people that everything is like subjective, you know? Perfection is subjective to what a person believes perfect is, you know? That's why um, we had many instances of for example, the movie, the biggest movie that a lot of people talked about this year that they call perfect for whatever reasons this is going to stir up comments, but Top Gun Maverick to a lot of people was perfection. To me, that is just a big pile of mediocre at best. But to, you know, to a lot of people, it was, it was phenomenal. It was great. It was Oscar worthy even. But to me, the most perfect thing that I think has come out this year for a creative standpoint has been everything everywhere all at once and it, it, it caught like it, ca it caught you off guard and the thing with that is you realize you begin to realize that everyone's definition is different and that when it comes to your final product you're not going to be appeased by your own creation it's it's a whole weird thing that we have as like humans you know this, does that make sense like Sometimes, especially without a script, I don't know how well I'm pushing my train of thought through in video format. So, I mean, if that makes sense, let me know. But, like, the point that I'm trying to, to do, you know, is that I've been trying to change that. And, and lately, it has been working. You see, I'm having the same problems that I was having last week when I was trying to do this video because it's this whole idea of like, what can I put in a video about perfection to make it come out perfect when I'm editing it? And I just can't figure it out. I can't even put my thoughts together to kind of get some coherent like type of topic to come out. And that's a major problem that I need to work on and I probably will continue working on. Even now, the reason why a lot of like, my I changed my camera, so I have a Blackmagic Cinema pocket pocket cinema camera, uh, the 6K Pro one, and uh, just watching the 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 edits the edits on the Canon that I had um, and that I was using for video, it was kind of just made me doubtful. You know, I want to achieve perfection in my craft, and I'm trying to work extra hard for it, but I realize that. You know, for one, I'm not practicing with this camera. I ha I bought it, I got it like 
two two almost three months ago and i have not used it due to like financial reasons you know because i'm a firm believer in like paying talent and crew uh that help me work on my stuff um fairly you know because i want i, I don't want to go to a set and like them be like oh sorry we can't pay you even though you did like three days work almost 12 hours shifts you know it's like that's shitty that's kind of scummy but to me i'm a firm believer in that so in order to save my own finances and not underpay people that help me bring my creations to life uh, i'll just put it in the in the locker room and the storage room for now until i'm able to but i don't want my black magic to just pick up dust so i know a lot of people like corridor digital they use their vlogs and, and like small videos that they create for like punch for punch um they use the black magic so i want to get better so i want to get used to da vinci and i want to get used to the, how to use this camera for future projects and you know that's like what i have adapted my professionalism perfectionism to is getting so good at something that you already have and that you know you're decent at in order to get the best outcome i don't even know if there's an idea like if there's a story or if there's like a conclusion to this video it's more of like me ranting and trying to like just be okay with videos not coming out how i have them planned in my head all the time because things happen things don't come out the way they were uh or the the ways they do and you know when you're visualizing stuff having access to the i have a prime lens right now um it's a 24 but with the black magic because it's like a crop sensor it's more zoomed in um so it's like a 35 which i don't like but when i'm imagining it in my head i'm imagining through my eyes and through how i'm able to perceive just space you know our eyes can see a wide range of like focus around us you can't see my hands but like this entire box is minuscule compared to what we see you know so i always it, it's hard when you're uh, actually doing and using your own equipment and the things that you have and it not coming out or turning out the way that you had imagined it kind of sucks and like i said i don't know if there's any story to this whole thing i, I just i'm just ranting honestly the point i'm trying to make with my rant is that it's okay to have the idea of perfectionism in your mind and to want your things to be perfect as a creative you know perfection is such an obscure idea that we don't have in philosophy we there's a i forgot who went to the discourse but we are not perfect beings so we cannot achieve perfection when it comes to like just everyday mundane things and we have come to the point of accepting them some more than others of like okay we're not gonna achieve perfection or whatever um so we're just gonna move on to the closest thing which is it's it is beyond okay it is like fantastic stuff like that you know and i mean i don't even know if like the this video is gonna come out honestly the one i still have the backup if I, I decide to put that out but the other one i just wasn't i didn't couldn't get in the mood because there was people over and that kind of was a distraction to me but you know what i'm trying to say is it's okay i i don't know i i should just end it here because there's no point at least i'll get a like a i don't know how long this is gonna be end up being but I guess that's what content creation is. You just continue at it and throw whatever you have to the wall and see what sticks. Maybe on the next video, it'll be more precise, more coherent. Sorry if it wasn't, but here's to resetting what perfectionism is.